Welcome back. Now today we're gonna have another job on the old washing machine. Um, Groupie was a bit unhappy because the thing was actually walking through the utility room. Um, apparently the dampers are not damping anymore. They're supposed to have a resistance of about 120 Newton and this new one has actually. And the old ones, as you can see, there is absolutely no more resistance. Uh, it's interesting, they are they're supposed to be made by Suspa in Germany, and uh, but I got them from Lithuania. Um, whatever, it's the same size. Uh, apparently, fitting to an AEG machine, I was just looking for the dimensions. It's 280 and uh, 185 compressed. So it's a relatively easy job, it's uh, just to get there and uh, do it. I will throw some other footage of that machine in, uh, which I filmed earlier, with an electrical problem. Um, unfortunately the audio was off on the camera, so it was a bit of a, a pain. Um, I just throw that in. It was basically a wiring problem, uh, which we detected with the infrared camera. Um, yeah, and a few other things. I put some subtitles in the in this old footage uh, because again there is no audio. Right, let's hit those uh, dampers and then hopefully the thing will work again. What those dampers actually do? They actually damp the movement of the drum here, and uh, they're sitting down here. One is one ear is here, and the other one is up on the on the drum. Other side is here. It's pretty much the same on all washing machines. Uh, there's some sort of damper and some sort of spring up here. There's some springs here which hold the weight. And the dampers, they, there is no spring in those dampers. They're just damping in both directions. Uh, apparently with 120 newtons, so that's 12 kilos each. Um, if you replace them, all you need to look at is the right um, damping characteristics and the length. It doesn't need to be exactly the same as long as it works. Okay, let's fit those and uh, give it a try. So, new dampers are fitted. The other one over there. The bolts are really tight, so they need a good tightening. And as we can see, it's it's damping, it's stopping it. So, that's what we need. Get the back cover back on, put it back into place. Job done. So, I don't know if it's visible, but you can see it it stops immediately, so the damping helps to stop the wobbling. It should wobble a little bit because otherwise it's walking through the utility room. Um, but the the dampers should actually absorb some of the vibration, so it doesn't walk. We're gonna open one of these and look inside what's in it. I'm just keen to know what's in it. Um, yeah, just to, just for giggles. We'll do that at some point. Welcome back. Today we got a new challenge. The missus reported that uh, some smoke was coming out of the washing machine and it blew the fuse or the breaker. So we ha we'll have a look inside. Now uh, look at her. She's really disappointed that the washing machine gave up. To get there, most washing machines have uh, a bolt in each corner, which go into the cover, top cover. The back cover is usually fixed with some screws. It's that one here. And uh, well, if someone reports a faulty washing machine, you instantly think about heater, which I did as well. But the heater is fine. We'll show that in a minute. Um, the problem is actually here. So what happens here is the AMP connectors here went up just lazy. So it was always sparking on these um, connectors here. And that burned the wires and finally burned this one off here. 
which obviously then pop the fuse. So we're gonna fix that. Got a birthday as well. It's 3rd of February 1994. So it's not the youngest anymore. But uh, it served me well because I paid almost nothing for it because it was faulty at the time when I got it. Probably back in 99 or so. And uh, all it was, I think, one of these wires will lose, I can't remember, something like that. Uh, and then it worked. So let's have a deeper look into those wirings here. And also have a look how we're going to check the heater.
to tell her it's fixed and uh, she will give it a try because she was waiting for a week and uh, well she is she's happy I can do the washing again. Yeah! You're my hero. So we took it apart. It's uh, just a piston with two seals. And the air is obviously the air is obviously coming out through a valve here. Can't see that really. But uh, yeah, the piston seals are really sloppy. And uh, that's just a metal tube. I thought it's aluminium, but it's actually steel. Uh, that's all. There's nothing secret in it. So these seals are worn and that's the reason why it doesn't dump anymore. Alright. That's the secret inside. No moving and uh, I think that's the job done. I don't know if that's full speed, I think it is. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, until next time. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, until next time.